Good morning, Rock Hill. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Good morning, Rock Hill. What a great day for us. What a great day for South Carolina to get the opportunity to celebrate. We don't do that enough in life, but today we get to celebrate the biggest economic development project in Rock Hill in York County's history, and you're part of that. You, the taxpayers, you, the ratepayers, you're the ones that made this city what it is that attracted the Carolina Panthers to Rock Hill. So take a bow. We're so glad to have everybody here today. We're so glad to look out and see so many special smiling faces. And we're going to start this program by inviting our own Congressman Ralph Norman up to say a few words. Wow. Who would have thought on a Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock that we would have this number of people here in Rock Hill? <laughs> Governor, elected officials, Mr. Tepper, I just want to say what an honor it is to be here. You know, I was flying in early last night and I thought, you know, throughout the annals of history, there are watershed moments. This is a watershed moment. For Rock Hill, this is a watershed moment for South Carolina. And I just want to thank you for making us, breaking Rock Hill a part of this. It is special. We have some gifts to give you. Let me find where they are. Oh, yeah. David Tepper, how about coming up here? Yeah. On behalf of the 116th United States Congress, I want to present you with a flag that has been flown over our nation's capital. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is our certificate saying it actually has been flown. <laughs> and folks, I want you to see I got a cap yesterday and signed by as many congressmen as I could get. And the first one that wanted to sign it was Jim Jordan. Jim is a championship wrestler, Hall of Fame. He wanted to be the first one to sign it. I tried to get a Pitt Panther, which is your alma mater, to yes, sign it. Yes, it is. But uh, I want to present this. Thank you very much. And last but not least, our congressional coin. It's an honor to have you in Rock Hill, and it's an honor to have you here today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman. You know, we started this path about six months ago, and at the first meeting we had with the Panthers, with uh, Mark Hart and Steve Argers and his team, and we talked about what we wanted to do in Rock Hill, why they should think about coming to our community. And we started talking about our velodrome. And we started talking about our BMX. Hey, you know, as a mayor, you do these things. And as you go, they'd stop and say, Mayor, you don't need to tell us that. And I said, well, let me tell you about how we're seeing a regrowth in that. Mayor, you don't need to tell me that. I said, well, let me tell you about, so Mayor, we wouldn't be talking to you if we didn't know Rock Hill could pull this off. The yes. And the reason we knew that was true at the time is because we were in the room with your favorite son and mine, Gary Simrel, and he was there to seal the deal and to lead Team Rock Hills. So with that, I'll pass it over to Gary Simrel. Is this a good town or what? You know, I just want to thank you for being here. This proves what we know is great and good about Rock Hill, South Carolina. When we think about the Carolina Panthers, we think about one team, we think about two states, we think of all that Rock Hill has done for sports tourism to put us on the map. What are we known as? Football City USA. Football City USA because of the talent that comes from Rock Hill right here. Now we have the crowning jewel of being Football City USA because the Panthers are coming here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. I am just pleased to be a part of Team Rock Hill, of Team South Carolina, what it means for us as a community, what it means for us as a state, and what it means for us as a nation. We have arrived. This is fantastic. Thank y'all. Keep pounding. Thank you, Representative Simmel. Nice dab, by the way. Very nice. You know, we had such a strong leader in the House, we also had one come of age in the Senate. 
Senator Wes Clymer, who's new to the Senate, but came in roaring like a lion, and I'm looking forward to what he'll do for you and me for the years to come. So with that, we'll turn it over to our Senator Wes Clymer. Thank you, Mayor. Are you all ready to put the thrill in rock thrill? <laughs> yep. I just want to double down on something that the mayor said and, and something that Leader Simrel said a minute ago. And the first is to thank you, to thank successive generations of the people of Rock Hill who have invested in and delivered on huge projects that deliver, that deliver for us the reputation that gets us in the room so that we can compete for tremendous economic opportunity for our people. So thank you for your, for your leadership over the last few generations and your ongoing commitment to investing in the types of projects that lead us to where we are today. Secondly, I want to thank all the folks on this stage here. You know, without the leadership of the governor, we got the president of the Senate, the speaker, the majority leader of the whole York County delegation, and of course the mayor quarterback in the whole operation. Our congressman giving us all the support from the federal government wouldn't have happened without any of those folks. So on behalf of everybody here, thank you all again. It is a great day to be in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Okay, we've heard from our hometown folks, but just so we all understand just how big a deal this is for the state of South Carolina. You know, 50, 60 years ago in the state of Florida, they created something called Disney World, and it changed Florida forever. Now, this development here in Rock Hill won't be as big in scope as Disney World, but it will be just as important for South Carolina, just as important for Rock Hill as it was for Orlando and Florida. And we know that that's true because it brought some of the real big hitters from Columbia to town to celebrate with us. And the first is the Speaker of the House, Jay Lucas, who's here to share his regards as well. So, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. It's always great to come to Rock Hill today, June 5th, the football capital of America, and it's great to be here. Um, we've always heard the mantra that Dave Tepper has told us since the Carolina Panthers have come here. Two states, one great team. Well I, can t well, I can tell you that has never been more true than it is today in South Carolina. And Mr. Tepper, let me thank you for thinking about Rock Hill, South Carolina, the fastest moving, fastest growing town in the state of South Carolina. You know, every year, every 10 years, South Carolina has another million people come to it. And Dave, that's another million Carolina Panther fans that we have to come and cheer for you. Except the people who come from Chicago, we probably not gonna change them from Bears fans to Panthers fans. But this is a great day. I wanna thank a few people. Um, Governor Henry McMaster was outstanding and leading the charge on this, the Department of Commerce. Um, the folks you elect from the York County area, from the Lancaster area, I can't name all of them. You've heard Gary Simrel talk. There's a huge delegation from York County and for Lancaster County. They worked and worked and tirelessly worked this issue in Columbia. We wanted to let the Panthers know that we wanted them to be in South Carolina. And we wanted to pass legislation to show that we care about Charlotte and that we care about Charlotte and the Panthers coming to Rock Hill, South Carolina. So now we have manufacturing in South Carolina, we manufacture tires, we manufacture cars, and now we manufacture football teams. And Dave, that's a great, that's a great place for us to be. Thank you for thinking about South Carolina. Congratulations, Rock Hill. You know, early in the process, uh, the legislative process, Mr. Tepper and his team went to Columbia and they met with the governor and they met with many of the people you see up here on the stage. And I knew as mayor we were in good shape when our state Senate president, Mr. Peeler, stood up and said, we're going to have the Panthers in South Carolina. You can count on that. So with that, I'll turn the microphone over to him. The stories you heard about Governor McMaster twisting arms to make sure this legislation passed, it's, it's not exaggerated. It's definitely a pleasure to be here. Um, I bring you greetings from Western York County, 
and the South Carolina State Senate. And as the president of the Senate, I wanted to assure that our senators supported this effort. But like I said earlier, earlier the senator from York, Senator Clymer, did a great job, Governor. And thank you, Senator Clymer, for helping with that. And we've got a great, great delegation here in York County. Listen, from the time the governor introduced me to Mr. Tepper and his organization, I've been impressed with him and his people, impressed with his people and his vision. It's unbelievable what this man is going to do to this community and this state. And now, when a pro-business state teams up with a pro-football team, it's going to be victorious. As Joe Namath would say, I guarantee it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Senator Peeler. All right, I want everybody, this is a pep rally, so let's everybody put our hands together. Let's put our hands together for David Tepper. Come on up, Mr. Tepper. Thank, thank you, Mary Geddes. Um, you know, I have a piece of paper, so I remember everybody's name, but I actually do remember everybody's name, so. Um, I just want to say um, just a couple things. First off, I brought a couple hats here. I actually brought one for the uh, governor first. It was in my, in my apartment in, uh, in Charlotte. It's a, it has a, the tag on it, and I said, I said, you know what, I gotta get one for the mayor too. So I took one with sweat on it for the mayor. <laughs> but, then, but then I said to the governor, I said, do you want the hat with the sweat, or do you want the hat with the new hat that's never been worn before? And the governor said, I want the one with the sweat. So, Governor, here, I'm going to give you a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just a little story. Um, you know, before I, before I, just a couple of remarks, I just want to uh, thank everybody on the stage, and I'm, I'm going to send you hats, I guarantee it. I'm going to send hats. <laughs> you want one too, does somebody say out there? So, so I'm, I'm going to just read some stuff, although I'm just going to say thank you to everybody up on stage, to Cimero and Pillar and Lucas and Clymer and Norman and, and, um, and uh, oh, Malloy in the second row over there. I'll just say thank you to all you guys for your help. Um, and you all get hats, I promise you. And thank you for, thank you for the uh, flag. And I tell you what, I love the hat with this signature, so thank you for that too. Um, you know, we're tickled to be uh, down here in Rock Hill. Um, you know, the Panthers, uh, you know, we have a, the mantra that I'm trying to get in, that, in the organization is we're, we're, it's, a, it's a mantra of excellence and a mantra of winning. And that's what we, you know, that's what we want to do down here in Rock Hill. You know, we, I was just talking to the governor just a second ago, and we were talking with the Atrium people here who, you know, who were, were partners down here. And we're talking about potentially world-class um, orthopedic places coming down here to Rock Hill and the world-class executive medicine coming down here to Rock Hill. People coming down to Rock Hill using the airport over there flying from all over the country to come down to Rock Hill for those services. And we're going to build a world-class facility down here too. So this is going to be a showcase down here and going to bring people down to this region and we'll have, you know, you know just a, a sense of excellence not only up there for the football team, but everything we do down here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Yeah. Just uh, one thing I just want to mention for some folks. Uh, it doesn't mean, by the way, that we're going to forget our friends in Spartanburg either. We will be present in Spartanburg for a long time. Just want to tell one way or another, whether it's fan fests or whatever, we're going to be over there too. We're not going to forget people who have been our friends and our fans. So that's, what, that's how we're going to roll with the Panthers. Um, you know, Football City USA? Football City USA? All right, they're going to know Rock Hill for more than Football City USA. They're going to know Football City USA. They're going to know world-class uh, facility. And they're going to know, you know, world-class health facility, too. And we're going to bring other things down there, too. So we're just, you know, it's a great day to be down here. Very happy to see everybody in there, in the audience. I should have wore a Panthers jersey, I think, instead of this thing. They made me wear this button down, so that's as far as I wasn't going to go with the jacket. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot. I want to thank, thank again the governor, and I want to thank again the mayor, and thank all, you, all the legislatures for helping us out. And I want to thank everybody here for coming out. Thank you very much.
thank you, Mr. Tupper, and I, I guess I get to say, welcome to Rock Hill. We're glad to have you. You know, we're, we're almost at the point where we get to the very fun part, and that's signing the legislation, but before we do, we're going to call up our governor here, and I'll tell you, living in Rock Hill for, and in South Carolina my entire life, and in Rock Hill for a long time, it's nice to have a governor that's not interested in their political brand, that's not interested in running for a future office somewhere else, but is interested in making our state the best that it ever has been before. I think this is a testament to that. I think the leadership we're seeing out of Columbia now is just wonderful. And when we, to get it to the Senator's desk, we had, I mean, to the Governor's desk, we had so many Senators like Senator Scott and Senator Allen who are also up here today and members of our delegation and outside just getting together to make something big happen. And big things don't happen unless you have a big guy. And that's our governor, Henry McMaster. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> Y'all, thank you for all coming out. And uh, Mayor, thank you for those, those kind words. We, uh, and thank you for that standing ovation. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> You know, these, these folks have already said it all. I want to thank First Lady Peggy for coming up with me today. Yeah. I'd ask Peggy if we, could, if we could have a little meeting at the mansion a few months ago and have to Mr. Tepper and some of his team there and the legislative leadership. She said, why, sure, put out some food. We had a nice meeting, and, and here we are today. And, and I think in record time for a project of this, this size. But ladies and gentlemen, it's been, it's been mentioned about teenship, and, and that this is a great team. We are all part of a great team, they're, but they're, they're parts of this team. One is Mr. Tepper and, and his team, which includes Atrium and, and others, It is and the players and all the, the entire organization that is a great part of this great team. Also, the political leadership in South Carolina, they represented here, who represent others who did work on this. And I want to mention Gerald Malloy cut work short in, Senator Malloy cut work short in Germany in order to fly back just in time to work on some final votes to help us. That's the, the political leadership is a part of this, but also you standing here are the major part of this, this great team that we call Team South Carolina. And I say that because in the positions I've been in, I've been able to talk to business leaders looking to invest hundreds of millions and billions of dollars all anywhere in the United States. They want to come to the United States. They want to come to the southeastern United States. And the reason they choose South Carolina, this is from BMW to Volvo to Michelin to all the rest of them. The reason they come to Mercedes, the re Boeing, the reason they come here they say is because of three things the people the people the people of South Carolina it's the people of South Carolina that are going to make this the greatest team we've ever seen and to, to, they remember we're going right straight to the top we are we are at the top and to quote my favorite political leader Ronald Reagan you ain't seen nothing yet thank you for being here We thank everybody for coming out to celebrate this day. This day we'll remember for quite some time. The beginning of the next phase, two states, one team. Go Carolina Panthers. Go Rock Hill. God bless the city of Rock Hill. God bless you, the people of this good town. Thank you all.